Welcome to the first tutorial on Magento e-commerce platform. So you ask me what is Magento, why do we need to learn and how it helps us in our day-to-day -day life. By end of this course, you will get an expert knowledge on managing e-commerce platform. So basically, how you do the online shopping? You will go to Flipkart or Amazon or any other shopping app and check out the needed product, right? So do you know how they will manage all this from showing products to deliver your things? Might be you have no knowledge on Magento, but no problem. I'm here to help you from scratch, resolve your queries at any time. I'm available uh, at that email address which I've uh, added in the description box. So for you, I have created one course structure to learn uh, Magento in an easy way. First things is first, we have to uh, see that introduction. In this introduction tutorial, I will show you what is the latest version and uh, how to proceed further. Magento is an open source e-commerce platform to build shopping cart applications developed by Verilink in 2007. It is a free cost, that means you don't have to pay even a single rupee, but you have to buy your hosting and domain name. And next one, uh, you can create your online shopping store and websites based on the region. You can create blogs like WordPress, you can create static and dynamic websites using CMS pages, static blogs, widgets, UI components, and also shipping integrations and payment gateway integrations like PayPal, Braintree for purchasing uh, our product. Now, uh, I'll show you the demo of uh, Magento, how it looks. Here you see this, uh, this is a Magento instance, that means Magento website. If you install as a fresh installation, you will get this, like this one. What do you see here? There are some uh, uh, some search bar uh, like any other e-commerce shopping application. Uh, there is a cart button and some categories here. When you hover it, uh, there will be some drop drop down. This complete is called an header section, where you see whether customer is signed in or not. You can create your account, and uh, there's some multiple store views. I will discuss later. You see, this is called a banner. For every website, banners will give you effective look. And you provide some static content here. And uh, here is the static blogs where they have added some products. You see, a product is uh, having different options. Based on options selected, you can add to cart like whether it is a pen, whether it is a dress, whether it is somewhat bag. There will be some options. If you consider, uh, if you see this, if the product has no options, that means it is just like a simple product. You can directly buy it without selecting any option. Magento have different types of products. So I will discuss later. So in this introduction tutorial, I will just walk you through how it looks. When I search here, you will see some products. These are the options for a product for selecting uh, an add to cart. Uh, so after selecting this one, uh, you directly uh, add this product to cart. See, one product is added to cart. That is Lando Gym Jacket. It's $99. This is the price. You see? Now you go to this view and edit card. You see this in the card page, the item. So uh, just now I have added this Lando Gym jacket. Uh, you see some size and color options. This is a configurable product, and configurable product has some options. You see these options here, and you see price, quantity, subtotal. So the price is actual price $99 that that will be reflected in the subtotal and in the right section there is a summary option where you will see all this information about uh, the shipping tax 
uh, and if you want to calculate any taxes kind of thing you can see it here so the shipping uh, charges here is five dollars so you have if you select this flat rate that has fixed price of uh, five dollars if there are no options uh, no other options available then it will be auto selected you don't need to select anything here so first you have to select this country select state select zip code based on that you will get these options the shipping options so now this time you have five dollars plus 99 uh, is the subtotal total is one at four dollars you see here this is just for estimation and uh, if you want to ch uh, check for other zip codes or uh, for other state and country uh, you can see that particular price here the complete order total now click on proceed to checkout in this step you have to fill all this information like email address first name last name company street etc so if you have already an account uh, uh, so you just log in with that account by just uh, entering email address and password and click login it will redirect to the lo uh, login information and then redirect it to this checkout so i just uh, enter different email address here so it will not ask uh, password to login because I don't have any account with this email address so I just provide uh, some dummy details just for testing purpose and below this is the shipping method uh, I mean you see this uh, what are the available shipping methods uh, based on the uh, state city country and zip code you provided now this time i only have this option just it will be auto selected if you have only one option so i'll click on this next you will see some payment uh, related information uh, i have only one payment uh, this demo site has one payment method in the admin panel you you can select uh, multiple payment methods so this will be auto selected the checkbox and money order and uh, you click on this place order success now the order got placed you check this order id this order id has uh, uh, different information like uh, the customer uh, what are the items you have placed uh, all this information here payment and shipping information everything uh, everything based on this order ID so if you want to create an account uh, it will ask you to create an account here just click on it it will redirect to the customer account creation page so the first name last name uh, an email address will be auto filled and you have to select this date of birth in some Magento versions uh, you will not see this you can directly put first name last name email and password this time you have to add your date of birth here you provide password and click on create account it's that much easy you see that uh, now the now it could redirect it to this customer account section what I see here the account information what are, what is my contact information if I want to change any uh, information you click on this edit buttons here like if you want to change contact information here if you want to edit billing address or shipping address uh, you click on this edit address here and now this time I want to check my order what are the items and what are the prices uh, for this order this is my order ID click on this view order I will discuss in the upcoming tutorials uh, all these uh, all these points uh, so just this is uh, just for reference how you can uh, process your order from the front end as a customer click on this view order we'll see this this is an order view page uh, in this uh, view page what you will see is uh, the product information which you uh, right before placed the product name and its options SKU price quantity subtotal grand total this is the complete order total here including uh, shipping and handling charges
this is uh, all about uh, how you can uh, see order in a customer journey now coming back to the latest version uh, its latest version is 2.4.6 if you want to install uh, Magento instance you just go with this version because it has a lot of uh, security fixes uh, and a lot of dependency fixes here uh, available so you have to uh, make sure that your Magento version is 2.4.6 upgraded and uh, coming to the Magento versions a uh, Magento 1 is the old version in any case we will not use this version instead we will use this Magento 2 and uh, with Magento 2 we have this 2.4.6 and coming to the editions, we have different types of editions like community, enterprise, commerce and cloud, dot go professionals. We always go uh, check that uh, and uh, proceed with community. Uh, if you don't have enough uh, enough money, then you can directly go to this community. And uh, if you are happy with this community, you can upgrade your system in uh, enterprise. Uh, if uh, if you want any on-premise features and your system to be uh, on the cloud you just go with commerce on cloud with the uh, extra pay so this is what all about this minimal introduction on Magento in the upcoming tutorial we'll discuss more in detail like uh, advantages of Magento and disadvantages of Magento why we have to use this Magento uh, and as a developer, what are the requirements uh, you need to learn this Magento and 